Let's take a moment to talk about working with protected areas in Vocaline Ultra. More specifically, what they are and what we can use them for, how to create them, and the types of problems that they can help solve. Okay, so first off, how do we create them? This is actually really simple. If you hover your cursor anywhere on the dub track and you just click, hold, and drag in the bottom, you notice that we have this red area that's highlighted here in the GUI. You'll also notice that we have two icons. One of them looks like a clock. The other one looks like a music note. And these indicate what the protected area is intending to preserve. So in this case, this is a protected area that is protecting the highlighted section from any pitch or timing changes that Vocaline Ultra would be applying based on the parameters that you've dialed in over here. We can click, hold, and drag, and then if I wanted to modify this, it's just as simple as right-clicking, so I could change this to just protect the timing, or maybe I wanna change this to just protect the pitch of this one particular area, and it's really worth dialing this in so that you highlight just the area that you want. Now, let's delete these. We can right-click just to delete them. Also worth noting that we can right-click and add a protected area, and it's just gonna basically use your cursor position, and then you can just drag these flags. So now that we know how to create protected areas, let's talk about the types of problems that they can solve. Well, the first one that comes to mind is if you have a vocal performance of some sort where maybe the backgrounds are doing something slightly different that's more of an ad lib, and you don't want anything to happen in that area, well, that would be a really good job for protected areas. You could just highlight the section and then you simply choose what you want to protect. In this case, I could choose to protect the pitch and timing. Enough theory, let's listen to an example. So I've got a female lead vocal over here and I want you to pay really careful attention to the phrasing in terms of the way she sings this last note. Let's have a quick listen. Oh, big boy. Notice how she kind of tapers off with this. She's got a really nice character, and it's almost more breath than note. We don't have that much melody. Let's listen one more time. Oh, big boy. Oh, big boy. Now, let's hop over to the male vocal. I'm going to actually deactivate the match pitch and match timing. Let's listen to that performance. Oh, big boy. This vocal, it has a melodic trace all the way through. And we can also kind of verify this by switching our view. We can view the actual pitch trace that we have for both the guide and the dub tracks. So let's hop back over to the waveform and let's activate our match pitch and our match timing. I've basically pulled in a preset, vocal double, slightly loose timing and pitch. Let's have a listen to the result. Listen to the two of these together. Oh, big boy. Definitely we hear an artifact that's creeping in on the male vocal. Let's have a listen again. Oh, big boy. So why is this happening? Okay, well, if we take a look at the lead vocal, bearing in mind that she kind of just tapers this note off and it's a more character breathy type of artifact than something that's locked to a melodic pitch, Vocaline is having a hard time matching the pitch of this particular section to the guide track that we've defined. So in this case, what I want to do is I want to actually protect this one note over here. So I'm just gonna drag across and then I can drag these flags, the in point and the out point over the word. And in this case, I'm gonna modify this and I'm just going to choose to protect the pitch of this one particular area. So what this means is that Vocaline is going to apply this preset and these parameters to everything with the exception of this one area that I've highlighted in red, it is gonna maintain the original pitch. Of course, if I make any timing changes, those will be reflected. But now let's have a listen to the male lead vocal now. Oh, big boy. Much, much better. Now we listen to the two of them together. Oh, big boy. Okay, we could tighten up this timing even further and keep an eye on this area of the waveform. Oh, big boy, you've got a tiny, tiny heart. So it's really about choosing which areas that you want to preserve. And if you do have an area that you want to preserve, especially in these cases where you're asking Vocaline to apply the actual pitch from a guide track and impart it on a dub, in some cases, it can be useful to allocate or define a protected area just in the areas that you want to protect something. And again, we can just drag out our flags over here. And this will help Vocaline do a better job in terms of alignment. You can see that this just kind of snapped together when we did that. Let's have one more listen to these. Oh, big boy. So that sounds perfect to me now. I'm going to play this in context of the track. Had a lucky escape from you, oh, big boy. You've got a tiny, tiny heart. 
So that's working with protected areas in Vocaline Ultra.